Mm -hmm. Basically, in this session, we will start with the views customization. And the first thing I want to tell you what is a view. So, view views are interacts. How to how interacts with the use the data to the customer. Okay. So when the when you are looking at the default configuration for accounts. So for example, if you take the accounts, it will be like this. For each and every entity, you will find the, some views here. Based upon that views only, you will get the data on the home page. Okay. So that is about the views. So for example, if you go to the system, I take the contact. So this is your contact view. So here by default, any one of the view is the default view. Okay. So here my active contacts is the default view for this entity. So that is the reason this is given. So you can able to see here all the views for the contact entity. So that is the it will display the all the views here. Okay. So the next thing there is a two types of views we have. Okay. So the uh, the first one is the personal views. Okay. So basically two types of views we have. Okay. Personal views and the system views. Okay. So the personal views. What is a personal view? So the personal views means so who are the user for the system. So for example, uh, I am uh, X person is the sales person, so he creates the, his own personal view. Okay, so that personal view it, uh, it won't visible by visible to the other users. Okay, so the the personal users means for the user in this era, he can able to create his personal views. He can able to create his personal filter criteria and the personal views he can able to create it so that is a personal view so system view okay so it is a global to the all the users across the system it will available for the all the users okay to create a personal view okay create a personal views and easy and easy to provide the usability to the dynamic CRM okay So the first point, select, select, create a personal view from the drop down. Okay. So we can able to create the personal views. Okay. By clicking here, create a personal view. Okay. So you can select the filter criteria. Okay. So next, you can click on a save. Okay. It will ask the view name. So once we click on given the name and click on save. So if you click on the results, it will give the result. So now the my personal view is got created. Okay. So if I go to the here. If once I refresh. So here we can see the personal view under the my views. Okay. So this view 
it won't visible by other people in the system okay so basically other users in the system they cannot see this view so it is my personal view i have created my own view in the system okay so these so you can see the active contacts these are all are the system views so this is my personal view it won't visible by the other users in the system Next, if I want to share the my, if I want to share my views to the, view to the other people, okay. So I have created one my personal view, okay. So if I want to share it this view to the particular view, particular person. So go to the advanced find. Okay. So here. Find. Okay. Okay. So here I can share, I can able to share So saved views, under the saved views if I select my personal view Okay, I can able to assign to this view to some other person Okay And I can able to share to this view to the particular some other X person or a user or a team. So I have created my personal view and I want to share my views to the team or a user. Simply I can able to see here. Okay. So for example if I select this is the user. Okay. And what are the permissions I want to give to the user. Like a read. Okay, write, delete, append, append to, and share. Okay. So, what are the permissions I want? Okay, I want to give to this user. So, if I want to give the only read permission. So, if I select that one, if I click on a share. So, that my view, it will be shared to the, that person. So, both of us, they can access. Okay. So, the sharing this view is a similar. Here, click on a assign view. So, now uh, my personal view has to, I want to assign to the particular person. Okay. So, select or if assign to me or assign to a, some other user or a team. Okay, so that is a personal view. Okay, so the second thing is the system views. The system views, we have to go to the settings. Settings, click on the settings. Solutions. Okay, so entity customizations, that is the solution we are using. So, Go to the add existing and contacts, contact entity I am adding to here in, the, uh, in this solution. Okay, so expand the entity, contact entity and click on the views. So here we can able to see the all the system views. Okay, so here if you want to create new view, so click on the new view. Okay, give the name of the view. For example, I am giving a custom view.
custom view click on ok and here add the columns add the what are the columns you want to the view ok so next edit filter criteria ok so next what are the edit filter criteria you want ok so suppose contact sorry account does not equal to some particular account ok so that is my filter criteria and here configuring this sorting here we can at a time we can able to put the sorting on a two fields only so that is a uh, important here the view sorting we can configure on a uh, configure on a two fields only at a, at, at a time ok here the first filtering we can select whatever the filtering you want by default so next then by next second level filtering we can select it click on ok and if you want to change the properties like a, if, I, if I want to change the for the column width for example the here account so see here address one okay so this it is not displaying the full length so next click on the change properties here give the pixel size whatever you want okay so I have given 200 so that is the reason it is complete name it is displaying on the view so again click on save and close okay so uh, the view is got created custom view so now if I publish the customizations the view it is visible to the visible in the system to the all the users okay so it will visible for the all the users in the system okay So here we can see custom view ok so here this is a custom view we have created so it will displace to the all the users in the system so if I click on the custom view what are the fields we are added to the here in the header ok so next here I will displace the all the contacts in the system ok based upon the our filter criteria so here in the view again we can able to do the filter here ok so if you want to do the filter based upon that so for example I am adding the filter here so contains the data does not contains the data or custom filter so what are the custom filters you want we can put it here ok so that is a thing here we can we are again in the view we can able to filter here ok so this is these filters are the temporary filters so it won't any impact on the system views ok so it is you again it is filters is the user level if the user wants to filter some data in the here in the grid ok So this is the system views we have created. So next if if I want to this set the my custom whatever custom view as a default view. So go to the actions. Here we can see set default view. Okay. So I have selected whatever we created custom view and I am select click on the more action. There we can see the set default view. Okay. So if I set if I set the default view is the this one okay our custom view okay so it will be a defaulted 
if every you if any user logins to the contact entity okay so if any user logins to the contact entity so this view it is in defaulted okay so that is the default setting as a default view in the system systems in system view okay so here we can see the types of the views you can see here advanced point view and associated view and like a, this is the default public view is something like a, where we can see that one and look up view and the, these all are the public views okay so public views means okay so here whatever we are seeing here these are the public views okay so advanced find views so whatever the here we can see okay and a contact entity here we can see the advanced find okay if i select the new and if i click on a result so by default it will loads the advanced find view okay so this is advanced find view okay so next associated view means on the subgrade you are displaying on a subgrade so on a subgrade you are displaying the views so that is those are all the associated views okay so that is a system views in the crm